Babav, thank you so much for joining us today. I am supremely thrilled with this news of STL achieving 358 patents. I am so excited to be talking to you today. What do you think we have achieved so far? What are the main problems that we have resolved? And what is that we are still resolving? It has been a fantastic journey so far for us. For uh, last several years, we have been working on building up IP, our patent portfolio, IP portfolio, developing different technologies. And uh, if you see in seven years, seven years back when I joined Starlight and where we stand today, we have changed as an organization. We have matured big time in a lot of technologies that we were working on. Something that was a challenge to us at that point of time is something that we have mastered already. It's a complete journey of transformation. So when we started, we never we never had this thought in mind that we want to match a number of patent filings by our competition. We had a very clear thought around uh, what we want to do with our IP. Very nice. So you're talking about the benefits and the edge that we give to a customer. While doing that, um, what do you think are some of the core challenges that we have crossed, you know, within the company? I mean, like you said, you know, we started off as an optical fiber company and now we are going into, you know, access solutions and virtual mobile ad solution, etc. What do you think have been some of the key challenges that we have overcome while doing this? Uh, look, I think as an organization, uh, we've, when we, uh, when we have been, uh, we have been going through this transformation for quite a while. And this is a continued transformation. We never stopped. We never looked back. We, I mean, our target has always moved higher and higher and higher. And so on, the transformation went on. So there we have faced two type of uh, issues. Uh, I think one of them is internal. One of them is external. So we are clearly more confident than we ever were about this. And now that you're saying that, you know, these challenges that we have overcome and clearly, you know, with these number of patents, it's, it's very inspiring to know about you know, these achievements and overcoming these challenges. Any specific uh, experiences of, you know, having dealt with a difficult situation, you know, maybe in customer's case, maybe otherwise, that you would like to highlight? I think all of there would be um, many such instances. Yeah. Uh, in fact, a couple of them, a uh, couple of them would be something like from, from, from a technology perspective, from an IP perspective, now we are a very, very diverse group and each business has its own technology and IP requirements. Okay, for example, when we are talking about a traditional product business, basically connectivity solutions, we are essentially talking about having offensive ability, ability to have cutting edge products. When we are talking about something on the access solution side, we are really talking about leading the change from the front, probably being the first one to do it. So they are, these are two different uh, thought processes that needs to be balanced. So getting the entire ecosystem aligned right from engagement with technology team, engagement with sales team, putting the right people, IP people in place so that they understand the requirement and they can act accordingly. So talking about people and team, who in particular, if you were to highlight, I mean, tell us who had been having the most significant contribution in, in your experience of working with some of the core stellars who have been able to put their contributions and their heart and soul into it. I would say there are quite a few people uh, yeah. in the organization who really put their soul in what they're working on. I mean, there are very few organizations. I mean, this is my fifth organization in my career. It doesn't matter if you are calling them at nine o'clock or maybe at eight o'clock in the morning or whenever they are there and they'll yeah. start working on it at that point. Other than the leadership guidance, which has already been there, entire technology team has been uh, really phenomenal all these years. Entire operation teams from uh, Pankaj's team, from Venki's team have been very, very supportive. But what is, you know, what do you think are the main things that you're really proud about SPL? And we, we talk about, you know, that we at heart is a STL is a tech company, you know, so when it comes to, you know, great minds, great capabilities, people, everyone, we clearly at art are a tech company. So what do you think, uh, which which part in particular are you so proud of? I would, I would first say that right from the top to the very bottom, when we are talking about solving a problem, there aren't, I would rather say some there aren't any non-technology 
uh, thought process that are coming to play. Nobody really, right. nobody talks about even even at the ground level that is quite some leak. Let them, do it, let them try, do it. No, no, nothing like it. People have good sense of technology out here. People yeah. understand their capabilities. Great, great to know that. Um, just one last question before we actually close this is: uh, What is that? Some of the key learnings that. that have you would have had in this entire experience of yours of working so far here and what is that you would do differently anything that you want to highlight for people to look up to and learn from it from your experiences i think uh, this this has been a more of a roller coaster journey we had our share of ups like and downs like everybody else all sort of technologies right from conventional to artificial intelligence to big data to robotics to automation to material yeah. science to everything that virtual network everything which put together in this bowl wherein we are sitting now well thank you so much for talking to me web of today i just wanted to say one little thing in the end or what rather ask you to say that what do you think is one line and one line you would talk about as yeah that we are STL is what? What what does define us? To me, STL is extremely extremely aspirational, technology driven company. This is something okay. we don't we for us there is no uh, I would say uh, there is no final outcome. Our goalpost keeps on going higher and higher, higher and higher, and we continue to develop. the thor of technologies to reach there bring in a lot of areas lot of capabilities to make it happen so it's a starlight is not on a path to achieve an outcome starlight is on a perpetual uh, i would rather say a growth journey a perpetual transformation that's, that's what my experience with starlight has been okay great thank you so very much on that high note i'll have to end this discussion thank you so much once again for talking to me 